your mind will always struggle to have a bite of whatever sensual pleasures it comes across. But the obvious question is, are you genuinely deriving any joy or happiness from these material things? At first, it seems that you are truly enjoying the process, but it gradually fades away, leaving you empty and hollow. Buddha taught us numerous ways and techniques of providing healthy pleasures to our body in the form of what we eat and relate to in the environment around us to achieve total enlightenment. When you come to terms with this way of life, you will quickly make a turnaround from potentially destructive eating patterns to a more healthy and satisfying experience with food. This is, however, easier said than done because your mind is now fixed on the course of self-destruction. It takes a whole lot of self-determination to put these habits behind you while you embrace a new lease on life. To start a new and refreshing gastronomic experience may involve you picking some useful lessons from your past, digging deep to find the strength, or just adapting to your new surroundings and pulling power from all around you. Eating a healthy dish daily does not mean that you have to add a spare tire to your mid-region while the next man starves himself and engages in several food fads to remain healthy and achieve optimum body weight, which most times is an exercise in futility. To be healthy and eating in moderation does not in any way correlate with you avoiding certain classes of food. Eating mindfully is merely a lifestyle of being in the moment with whatever you are eating, paying full attention to every bite and morsel, masticating with rapt attention that piece of apple, feeling your taste buds come alive with every wash of sweet saliva, feeling the food become one with you is the exact definition of mindful eating. This journey you have embarked on with your feeding pattern is also an avenue for your inner man to come alive. The start of the trip will be turbulent as you seek to be free from the chains of unhealthy foods and habits. Gradually, foods from the past that did your body lots of harm will become offensive to everything you hold dear. You are on a path to be free of unwholesome food inputs into your body. Looking back, you will realize how your whole existence was tired to empty nutritional foods because you lack vital information essential to your mental and physical well-being. The vicious circle of pain and bad choices seems like it will never stop till you decide to take charge of the situation. In the teachings of Buddha, I discovered that we humans always have a sense of emptiness and the unending feeling of never having enough of anything but there is a way of getting around this and actually living a full and satisfied life. This depressive, hollow feeling is hunger. Hunger and want are two entirely different things. Desire is the need to be filled with soul-inspiring food, while want is the urge to feast on junk that gives your body and spirit no real satisfaction. Want is temporary devoid of the real importance food should have. Such diets are lacking in proper nutrients, but comprised mostly of artificial substances that your body will find a little hard making use of. You ought to be able to get joy and true fulfillment from eating, right? The essence of this book is to provide you with knowledge and recipes to fill you with good energy in all aspects of your life. The diets and menus described in the pages of this audiobook contain mouth-watering aromas and flavors, a kaleidoscope of colors, choices for you to make depending on your mood, and so much goodness. Preparing a dish to lift your soul is no hard task. Just a stroll down to the farmer's market or to the supermarket, and you will get the organic ingredients needed for the menu. The essential components of your dish should comprise of whole grains, proteins, and vegetables. Presentation, a sense of proportion, and timing of your meals are also quite important as they get you into the right frame of mind to readily accept and make the best use of the food before you. Are you ready to learn how to put together some heavenly bowls of goodness? <laughs>